Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 19 in Killer Shell exam examination for certified Kubernetes application developer. Question number 19. So in the namespace Jupyter, you'll find an Apache uh, deployment with one replica named Jupyter-crew-deploy and a cluster IP service called Jupyter-crew-svc which exposes it. Change this uh, service to a node port 1 to make it available on all nodes on port 30100. Uh, test the node port service using the internal IP of all available nodes and, and the port uh, 30100 using the curl. You can reach the internal port, internal uh, node IPs directly from your main terminal on uh, which node is the service reachable on which uh, node is the port running. All right. So the focus here is on uh, the service. So they said like uh, we have an existing service of type uh, cluster IP. We have to modify the service to a node port and then try and connect to um, the service on the set port uh, on um, all the nodes and uh, see if that is accessible. And also we need to check um, if the service is accessible uh, and on which uh, node the port itself is, is running. Let's inspect uh, what's there. So keep good on the namespace, Jupyter, get all. So we have a port. We have a service of type cluster IP. We have a deployment. Uh, and we have a replica set. So first, let's try and connect uh, to the cluster IP service and see if we are able to, I mean, if the service itself is really working, right? So for which, uh, we'll use kubectl on the Jupyter namespace, run a temp pod, never restart it, remove one is done, and we'll use the image nginx alpine and then curl um, the service which in this case is jupyter hyphen crew hyphen svc um, and it is available on this port 8018 So it is the default Nginx uh, response that says it works. Sorry, default Apache uh, web server. So it says it works, which means uh, the service itself is working and is reachable. So the goal of this task is to basically convert uh, this um, service type from cluster IP to node port. So as you know, cluster IP is an internally uh, exposed service. So it is great for uh, communication or within the pod. We don't want to expose the uh, workloads to an external world. It means cluster IP service is good. We are, I mean, any service you create um, in Kubernetes by default, it, uh, it uses the cluster IP type service. Node port, on the other hand, uh, creates a static port on all the nodes and exposes it um, to the outside uh, world, outside of Kubernetes. So anyone with the IP and the port uh, should be able to access um, the service, right? And uh, for node port, so yeah, for node port, uh, we'll be able to set this uh, port range uh, between 30,000 to 32,767. So they have already given this uh, port number here, uh, but that's something to keep in mind in case if you uh, if you are given a task similar to this and they didn't specify the port number, you cannot give any port number outside of this range. So that's something to keep in mind. Le now let's edit uh, the existing service. Um, so Oh, we simply need to make two changes right to, th to the service itself 
um, one is the target port uh, is 80 so right after the here um, port section we have to add the node port and they have asked us to use the port uh, 30,100 and the cluster the, uh, the type instead of cluster IP we have to change that to node port and simply change this now let's uh, get the service and see if it has changed so now we see the service type is changed to node port earlier it was cluster IP here and we also see uh, the port number assigned here right now let's get the nodes along with the IP so I'm using the hyphen O wide switch so we have only one node it's a one, one node um, cluster so cluster one hyphen control plane node and this is the IP address uh, of this node so let's uh, curl we don't have to create a temporary container blah blah so if we have curl installed already yeah you can you can do that so uh, I'm trying to curl this one and the port 30 sorry 30 310 All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, made a typo. It's 3100. So it says it works. So it means we are now able to connect to the node uh, on this part, and we are able to reach uh, the workloads. So this concludes um, the question. So we have proved that we have changed the service type from cluster IP to node port. Uh, assigned uh, this on a specific uh, static port and then we've tried to connect to the node itself using its IP on the specific node and we are able to prove that uh, we are able to reach um, the node on this uh, particular port and it's, it's accessible. So that concludes uh, the question number 19 so thanks for your time watching this video. So. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.